Yo, yo, yo. Kells the Great coming to you live and direct with some news that you could use as always. And today we're going to be discussing how to set a custom avatar picture for your ENS domains. I know that many people um, are constantly wondering, how do you do this? And, you know, I remember back in the day when I was trying to figure this out, nobody really has put the information out there. You know, everybody on YouTube that has this discussion, they're pretty much just showing you this article right here. You know, and this is not going to achieve getting you that custom picture right here. So in this video, I will be walking you through step by step how to get this done. And, um, you know, just to start this off, we will just dive into this real quick because this is real simple. Um, so the traditional way that they spoke about uh, you know, how to do this in this article is uh, if you own an NFT, you can basically set that NFT as your avatar. All right. And this article walks you through how to do that. It's extremely simple. There are YouTube videos on how to do this. And, um, you know, even if your NFT is moving, It's going to actually move on the background of your avatar, which is pretty dope. If I could get this thing to load up. So there we go. And, uh, you know, if I ended up leaving this page and coming back into here, you would see this thing. Uh, move positions once again, but I thought that was pretty dope when I set this up. Now this one I actually did with an NFT that I own. These coin god tokens, right? And uh, you know I set that up, but but like I said, you you know you guys could go and watch those other videos to see how to do that. Uh, today we're going to be discussing you know how to get your domain looking fly like something like this something like this I'm gonna show you how to do that you know something like this something like this we're gonna we're gonna get you right today so first things first I only know how to do this if you have an Android all right, that's the only way I figured out how to do this. Uh, maybe one of y'all figure out another way, but uh, let's jump into it. So, first thing that you want to do is you want to size a photo to a one to one ratio. Okay, one to one ratio. Now, on my Android. When I go to gallery, all right, there's going to be two different uh, things that we use on the Android. So there's gallery and then there's photos. Now, if I go to gallery and I resize my picture, um, if I click the little pin, like the little pencil or pin at the bottom of the photo and then I crop it as I'm cropping it. It will show me different dimensions. All right. So you basically want to crop it into that until it shows you it's one to one ratio. All right. Then you're going to save it. And that's how your picture is going to look as your background. Once you have got it to a one to one ratio, you're going to go to photos. You're going to go to that picture again and at the bottom, let me make sure I'm on the correct, on the correct picture. All right. So there's my one of one. You're going to click share at the bottom, or at least this is how it's done for me. So I click share 
and then I'm gonna click create link all right now that's gonna create a shareable link with Google Photos all right so that's the first step now I'm gonna show you what to do moving forward on the computer so I simply go to my notepad because it's once you create that shareable link it should save it to your clipboard so what I do is I go to my notes on my phone and I just paste it so I can see what it is then I'll go on the laptop and I'll type it in All right. And this is my photo that I've created a Google link, a shareable link with. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and I'm going to click open link in new tab. Then I'm going to go to that new one. I'm going to do it again. Boom. Open image in new tab. OK. And it's going to give me this LH3 Google link. You want to copy this. All right. You want to copy it. And now we're going to go to bitly.com. Now doing this right here, this is going to save you uh, money on your gas fee. So I'm going to go to this website. I'm going to go to shorten link. I'm going to paste that LH link. All right. I'm going to click shorten. And then I'm going to copy that link. And now I'm going to go over here to my app.ens, right? And I'm already signed in. I connected my wallet just so everything with this uh, tutorial could go smoothly. You know, no hiccups. And I'm going to go and find my name that I want to add this avatar to. Oh, my bad. So you want to go to uh, you want to make sure you're the controller of whatever that name is. So I had to obviously the name is not being held under this wallet, but I am the controller of it. So uh, I got to go to as you can see, I went to controller and I'm just searching for this name. Or better yet, I'm going to just type it in. I'm going to just type it in real quick. Search it up. All right, so as you can see, it's blue on the side. That means I'm, I'm in control of this domain. And so you're only going to be able to do this if you're the controller and if you have a resolver set. Okay, because we're going to be adding a record to the avatar. All right. So you need to have this set to a public resolver. All right. Once you do that, you can come and click add or edit record. And uh, you want to go to avatar and we're simply going to paste that link that we just created into the avatar record now I'm gonna go down and all I have to do is confirm now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go and check these gas fees and see if I should even be doing this right now yes sir it's perfect so there we go that's my tab I'm gonna click confirm confirm and I am making a change to the blockchain. So it does require a small gas fee. As you can see, it's nothing. A dollar two cents. And here's the cool thing about setting that avatar is um, on the on the ENS app, you can see it moving right here. You can see it moving. So 
my avatar is now set now this could take you know a few hours to pop up but we're gonna go ahead and try to force the metadata and see if it works just because it's already a part of that record we'll see it might it might update it might not but that's pretty much the steps right there that's all you need to do and hopefully we can get this thing to pop up so I'm gonna refresh that met metadata and then I'm gonna come up here and refresh and boom live and direct for you so now Meta Musa, you know, got got a lot more character to it. Really sets it apart from the rest, man. And I think that this is a great way to give your your domain some character, you know, some flavor. So yeah, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hopefully, this information is useful to you. And uh, stay tuned in with me. One love.